I think that's what he does. I think on some level, he's aware that he's not like other people. He's aware that he's got no conscience, really. He's aware that he... Uh, well, he, his own teacher said, didn't he, that he doesn't think the rules should apply to him. And he knows on some level that's not right. The conundrum, the contradiction at the heart of Boris Johnson is probably a form of self-hatred. The idea that he doesn't actually want to be like this. He sees other people who care for their loved ones, who manage to uh, be faithful or manage to make commitments, who have at least some concern for the truth, who um, sustain proper loyalties, proper friendships, proper uh, love in their lives. And he feels, he feels wronged. He feels a victim of injustice. Why can't I feel like that? Why, why, why do I find it so easy, he asks himself, to ride roughshod over everything that might be described as a value or evidence of integrity? Why? And, and he ends up, I think, wanting to denigrate everybody else subconsciously to get them to eat out of his hand in order to prove that on some level they are perhaps as bad as he is. And then he sucks in their souls and seals up his bag. That's all I've got, because there's 100 people on this invitation list, and it's taken 18 months for the truth to emerge. 100 people. And, how, and, and five days later, Dominic Cummings sat in the Rose Garden and told you that he'd driven to Barnard Castle to test his eyes. That was five days later. That's one mystery solved, isn't it? He had him over a barrel. There goes another soul. I'm not going to do that noise again, I think. That would probably be um, a point, a promise worth making. But, but Dominic Cummings had them over a barrel. Dominic Cummings, obviously, I would say now, was like, of course I should be fired. Of course I should resign. But, hey, you lads had a big party f just, just five days ago. Uh, and, therefore, we're going to have to come up with some way of uh, defending me. And I don't care how... Base and obvious it is, as long as we can get away with it. So the question when Boris Johnson is in charge becomes not what is true, not what is right, not what is honest, what is just, what is fair. The question, the only question, the abiding question, the overarching question is always and forever what is can we get away with did you see the smirk last night the little benny hill type twitching of the upper lip when he was asked whether he'd been at the party how many times have you forgotten about attending a party in your own back garden